defense do not forget about this Montreal deep. When I found out I can play football good, I wanted to be great at it. Darian with time again. Bowman! My thing was, if I wanted something bad enough and if I felt I deserve it, that I'm going to go get it. Debut tonight. He's only been in camp for three days. And Bowman is under pressure and he is dropped by John Bowman. Five to go. Look out, Darian Durant. John Bowman's hunting you down. I just wanted to be a good football player and get my degree. So now I got my degree, proudest day of my life. I gave my diploma to my aunt because she helped me focus and reevaluate and, and set my goals and set my standards in life. And like I tell you guys, to this day, that's my proudest moment. Well, I always told myself, uh, even when I graduated college, if I had an opportunity to give back or to help somebody by just letting them hear my story, uh, I would do it. Even if it was just reaching one guy or one girl, uh, just to share with them the experience I've had, uh, the, the adversity I've been put through, and the situation I put myself into now. Uh, I've come a long way in my life, and uh, I'm still living. Today was an amazing talk. And I don't think, you know, there could have been more of a motivational speaker than John Bowman today. His story was a little rougher than most you're going to get in the Shadowgy Valley, but, you know, it was pretty cool. It shows a lot of people that you can overcome a lot of difficulties as long as you persevere and you make the next right step. You know, you make the next right decision, um, show up. Showing up is usually half the battle. It actually turned out to be a very excellent public speaker. and. I was very engaged in his whole storytelling, the way he did it was very funny, but at the same time you were learning about his life. I think they took away that they have to take ownership of their own learning, that uh, they can't wait for someone else to do things, that you're your best advocate and if you want to do something then you'll make it happen. Your life circumstances don't always determine where you're going to go, you know, and that's, that's something that hopefully some people can take out of that. I, it's kind of cliche, but even if you only help one person in the room, then it's a success. I really got a big message out of the uh, whole self-motivation of it, how he always had, like he didn't have a huge support system to help him get to Sejep and college and all that, but he still had the self-motivation and self-grit, I suppose, and determination to do it all by himself. And, I feel like I'll always remember that message. When people come up to me and say, hey, I heard you talk uh, and I thought you were a great talker or you helped motivate me to do something else. I was recently at a venue at a concert and these kids that I talked to five years ago said, I remember when you came to my school. And uh, that's, that's one of the proud things that you get out of it too. The people that remember you five years later and, uh, and to see where they're, they're at now. So that's also a good thing.